What's going on guys, this is the Vanguard, a solo duo trio floor stacked bunker design that is equipped to handle online and offline raids. This base costs 35,000 stone, 630 high qual, and just over 24,000 metal frag. This cost includes all doors, windows, and ladder hatches. The upkeep is 8,200 stone, 156 high qual, and 4,000 metal frag per day. Let's get started with the build. As a trio, you could probably throw this down without having a starter base, but as a solo or duo, it's just a little risky to try and get the floor stack right the first time, so it's better off that you build a 2x1 and farm out of it for a bit. It's crucial that you get this floor stack correct for this base because without it, then the raiders can just blow the cheat door off and shoot rockets down and break the thatch. The best way you can set the floor stack for this base is by simply putting the lower foundation just beneath the floor of the first just like I did in the video. Again, this footprint's pretty difficult to figure out, so I recommend going on a build server and trying it a few times and making sure that you can get the floor stack and all the walls placed correctly the first time through. One thing you're gonna wanna do before stoning everything is make sure that all the walls place and that you don't have any issues with your floor stacks. You may want to upgrade a couple of these foundations sooner than I did in the video, just because some weirdos like to break twig when they come up to your base, but as long as you can get them down, then you're safe. These upgrades aren't mandatory off rip, but I do like to do them because for some reason foundations have a weird hitbox and it prevents you from upgrading them when there are large boxes right next to them, so this just saves some hassle. This single door is crucial because without it, then people can just slide right past your bunker, so it's important that you upgrade it to sheet or armored as soon as possible. The two triangles I just added are indicated by the red triangles on this overhead view, and the two single door frames that I add next are at the green triangle in the center of the screen. You're going to want to upgrade all this twig to stone and then build your jump up as soon as possible so that you have roof access.
the next piece of honeycomb that I add takes place at the red triangle on the back of the base. This triangle floor frame goes in the jump up that was marked by the green triangle earlier in the video. That is the last piece you need to floor stack the whole core of your base. It's important that you high qual your core as quickly as possible, but obviously rest doesn't always go to plan, so sheet will suffice, but it's obviously not as good. Next, you're going to want to floor stack your second story and sheet it all up. Heading over to the back of the base, you're going to want to sheet metal all these foundations and the honeycomb that we added earlier. Additionally, you'll want to add honeycomb over the other empty triangles. Next, you'll finish the back of the base with stone walls up to the second story. I nearly forgot in this video, but it's important that you upgrade the two walls that I do in the video because if you don't, then you'll never see them again and they'll be stuck as stone. There's no special reason that I upgraded that triangle to sheet, but I did it by accident so I left it. Next, you're going to want to add triangles all the way around and stone them all up and this will be your secret little bunker room that you can have kits in when being raided. This next upgrade is super important and it takes place at the red triangle on your screen. This controls your whole bunker system, so you're just going to use a half wall and place the triangle at half height, and this is going to lock your floor frame in and your core. Next, we add the front doors, which also act as our chutes to our shooting floor. You're going to want to add sheet metal honeycomb on the triangle floor frame that's on the bottom right of your screen, but I forgot to do it in the video, so here's a little clip of me doing it here. Moving on to the top of the base, you're going to want to expand and add peak downs just as I do.
Next we add triangles on each side of the base and then add shooting windows similar to alone in Tokyo's. In this overhead shot, I accidentally upgraded the chute to stone. It can be wood or you can just add a door here. On the back of the base, you're going to want to have a triangle overhanging with two windows. Again, this shot has the chute that I was just working on upgraded as stone, but ignoring that, you're going to want to upgrade all the floors around the edge to sheet. That's typically a pretty good stopping place for a main server on wipe day, but before logging off, I typically like to do a little bit more modifications to the inside of the base, just like adding doors and window frames. I figured this would be the best place to put this, but do not put a floor frame for a ladder hatch inside the chute in which the bunker is set in. It'll completely mess up how the bunker sets and you won't be able to get out of your base or maybe even set the bunker, so don't do that. At what I call the secret room on the back of the base, you're going to want to add two single doors. Here's a little clip of what I normally like to put in this area. At this point in your wipe, you're going to want to add garage doors and embrasures to just about everything you can. After this, you're going to want to sheet metal the entire second story. I typically seal off these square rooms with windows and then inside of them I normally put furnaces, extra boxes, mixing tables, anything you want. Heading back to the top of the base you're going to start work on the garage for your mini copter and the chute to your shooting floor.
This part of the base is all preference, but I typically like to pull a page out of Alone in Tokyo's book and add grooves and low walls around the entire perimeter. This is the last piece of honeycomb that you're going to want to add, but make sure you upgrade the walls to sheet before doing it because you won't see them again. I highlighted that wall because I forgot to upgrade it to sheet, so make sure you do that before you seal it off. The last thing you're going to do to this base is upgrade the whole backside to sheet metal. You can make a compound whenever and however you'd like, but here's how I do mine. It might be best to make the compound sooner so that you can start large furnaces to sheet everything up, but this is all personal preference. When placing the floor frame to seal the bunker, you're going to want to make sure that you put it on the lowest socket possible. Then using a triangle roof piece, you're going to want to just jiggle around for a bit and try and get the thatch to place. This part has gotten a lot more difficult as of late because of the line of sight blocked thing that they added, but it is still doable. I hope I didn't leave any important details out in this base build video, but if you have any questions, just ask them in the comments. Thanks so much for watching.